What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be annihilating our chest. So for those of you guys that have access to dumbbells and resistance bands, you're going to love this workout right here. We're going to be using resistance bands to increase the intensity of our chest workout today. So the goal of this workout is to build muscle mass and size. You can also torch fat with this routine. If you have no resistance bands, you're fine as well. You can perform this workout using just dumbbells. If you have access to dumbbells but not a lot of heavyweight dumbbells, then using resistance bands can also increase the intensity and the weight load of what you're working with. I'll be doing this workout using a bench, so if you have access to no bench, you can also perform this workout. Just go ahead and do it on the floor or a yoga mat, or you can find something that acts as a bench. I'm going to be working with a range of dumbbells for this, and I'll be explaining how to perform each of these exercises throughout the routine. If the weight load of your dumbbells and your resistance band combined together doesn't provide enough resistance for your chest, then you can go ahead and increase the repetition and slow down each rep. That way you can activate your chest better and longer. But if you have access to heavyweight dumbbells or resistance bands combined with heavyweight dumbbells or just dumbbells and a range of resistance bands, then go ahead and use that. So spice it up, increase the intensity, and keep training. Each set, you want to increase the intensity of your workout. Let's say you start with a pair of 30 pound dumbbells and 20 pound resistance bands, then maybe you wanna go up by an extra 10 pounds on the dumbbell end or the resistance band end during the next set. But that's it right there, y'all. Let's get right to work and let's crush this. Okay, first things first, you want to run the resistance band you're going to be working with underneath your bench or underneath your body if you're not going to be working with a bench and then hook it onto both dumbbells. So each one, make sure it's tight and firm. I'll be using the 30 pound resistance band throughout this routine to spice up the workout, but you can go ahead and increase the resistance band every set. You can also increase the weight load of the dumbbell instead of the resistance band. To begin the workouts, we're going to start with a heavy hitter right here. This is the flat bench press, but we're going to be using the 30 pound resistance band to make this a lot more challenging. You wanna complete three sets of this workout for 10 repetitions each one. I'm also working with two 60 pound dumbbells for the weight load, and the key things to note with this is to make sure that you're arching your upper back and you're also lowering the dumbbells as far down as your body will let you. Also make sure that you're pushing it all the way up until your elbows straighten out each time. Once you're done the first set, you can take between 30 seconds to two minute breaks depending on the weight load you're working with. Three sets later, you wanna complete chest flies. That's our next one right here. So make sure that you reduce the weight of this relative to what you've been working with. So I used 60 pounds in the first one. I'm using 30 pound dumbbells for the second one right here. But I'm still using the same 30 pound resistance band from the first one. With this one, you want to maintain a slight bend in your elbows to prevent recruiting your biceps too much. And make sure you're not stretching your chest out wide too far. Only stretch as far as it'll let you. And always bring both dumbbells up through an arc to meet up at the center each time without compromising the bend in your elbow. Make sure to hold and squeeze your chest muscles up there for about one to three seconds each time. That way you best maximize each repetition. You wanna make sure that you're not rushing through this motion. Slow and controlled repetitions each time. Don't forget to complete three sets of this for 12 reps each. And then we can go ahead and move on to the next exercise. Take no more than two minute breaks between each of these sets and each of these exercises. If you're working with heavy weight loads, I'd recommend going for about a minute to a minute 30 seconds. Otherwise, go for 30 seconds. Coming up next at number three is hex press. And you wanna complete about three sets for 10 repetitions each one. The weight load for this is the same as the first one, so 60 pound dumbbells and 30 pound resistance band. Keep both dumbbells in contact throughout and lower both dumbbells until they're almost touching your chest each and every single rep. And you also wanna push both dumbbells up, twisting your elbows inwards and squeezing your chest each time. Keep at it for three sets, 10 reps each set, and make sure that you remember that form is very important. And more important than whatever amount of weight you're pushing. Okay, for our next one here, you want to set your bench to 15 to 30 degrees in a decline position. We've got some decline chest press right here. This one targets your lower chest for those of you guys trying to add some mass to that little section of your chest. The aim is to complete three sets of this 
for about 10 reps each as well. We're also going to be using 60 pound dumbbells and 30 pound resistance band for this. Don't forget, you can use whatever you need. Make sure to hold for one to two seconds to add paused reps to this workout right here or any of the other chest exercises we've talked about. All right, for our last one here, we're going to need to cast aside the bench and slide a couple of resistance band or one resistance band, whatever weight load you wanna work with, under one heavy dumbbell. You can always attach it to a door as well or underneath your couch. To finish up, we're going to be completing 12 reps of three sets of high chest flies right here. So this also recruits your front deltoids as well, but it certainly also helps in crafting out aesthetics for your upper chest region. To do this move correctly, you gotta make sure that you're lifting both bands along your sides and all the way up towards the center, squeezing your chest in the process. You should aim to lift both bands to at least above your shoulder height and make sure that you maintain only a slight bend in your elbows throughout. If you're doing this workout using dumbbells only, then you can go ahead and complete the alternative using dumbbells for upper chest flies, as you can see right here. So make sure you're bringing both dumbbells to meet up at the center, like I said, and you're squeezing each time. So bring them to meet up at the top at the center each time. Complete three sets of this as well, and you're done your workouts for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas, and I'm out, y'all.